Welcome everybody to part one of Summer Slam. We are kicking things off here with SmackDown Live's Lone Wolf Baron Corbin. He's been going after Legends and Hall of Famers since the end of last year following his WrestleMania loss to The Undertaker. That's just been his mission this whole year so far. So we're going to see which Legend and or Hall of Famer will step up and try to take down Baron Corbin, he's just been talking trash, mostly on Twitter, backstage, yelling at people. He wanted a match here at SummerSlam, so The Undertaker acknowledges what Corbin is doing and is going to give Corbin exactly what he wants in hopes that there will be a legend to defeat Baron Corbin, most likely. I would assume that, considering The Undertaker was able to do it at WrestleMania last year. But it'll be interesting to see. Which legend will take on Corbin here to kick off SummerSlam? And all right, everybody, one of my personal favorites of all time, Rowdy Roddy Piper is back, and this crowd is going nuts. Rowdy Roddy Piper, one of the best of all time, without a doubt. And this crowd on their feet. As Piper makes his way down to the ring. This will be quite the interesting matchup. You see Baron Corbin who's just an aggressive angry person. Who just wants what he wants. And you have the legend Rowdy Roddy Piper. Who is the master of the sleeper hold. And an elbow right to the face of Corbin to start things off. I hope you guys enjoy this matchup. And we'll see you guys a little bit later on. All right, and Baron Corbin continues his decimation of Legends and Hall of Famers, taking down 
Rowdy Roddy Piper hits the end of days. Might have even ended the matchup after that right hand you see right there in the replay. But Corbin was also just trying to get a cheap roll up as well. But Piper powered out. But what a way to start off SummerSlam. A returning Roddy Piper. Corbin picks up a huge when they kick things off. Now we can just continue bragging and gloating and whatever Corbin is usually good at. Wait a second. Instead of just leaving the ring to move on. Let the show continue. Looks like he's just looking for Piper now. Corbin, as I mentioned earlier, is just a very aggressive and angry individual. And looks like he just found Piper outside the ring and continuing to attack the Hall of Famer. This is unnecessary. Corbin, someone's got to come out here and stop this. Picks him up. Another choke slam backbreaker. Piper knocked out cold and Corbin again hitting the end of days. But let's get this sorted out and move on to the next matchup here in part one. Alright, as we continue with part one of SummerSlam, we have a match from Monday Night Raw. It will be Paige taking on Nia Jax. And Paige, of course, having her absolution friends, Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose, in her corner. It'll be interesting to see how this matchup goes. Paige and Nia Jax obviously have a lot of history and issues with each other, hence why this match is taking place today. And Nia Jax is the reason that Paige was out most of the end of last year. Following their rematch for the Raw Women's Championship, Paige made her return after costing Nia Jax her rematch against Mickey James earlier this year with the help of Sonya Deville who was the one that ran interference so Paige looking to continue to get some payback on Nia Jax and speaking of Nia Jax here she comes and both women hate each other with a burning passion I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that as Nia Jax makes her way down to the ring this crowd fired up looking very much forward to this matchup as am I so let's get it underway now
Page with a tremendous victory. I think we just witnessed the show stealing match of the event and maybe even match of the year. Without a doubt, I am putting that on the list of candidates for match of the year. There's still many, many matches to go between now and the end of WrestleMania. But this matchup between Nia Jax and Paige is definitely one of the best we've seen in this entire series. Paige with a huge victory here in part one. She can now celebrate with her absolution friends as we get ready for part one's main event. Okay, everybody, to close out part one of SummerSlam, it will be the architect Seth Rollins and the big dog Roman Reigns, along with a partner of their choosing, taking on the team of Samoa Joe and the Usos, and the reason being for them having to find a partner instead of it being Dean Ambrose, for those who may have missed it. Ambrose will be defending his Universal Championship in part four as part of the co-main event. He'll be defending the title against the Drifter, Elias. So Edge did not want his top champion to be pulling double duty. So Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins had to find a partner for this matchup. So we're going to see here in seconds who they found. Crowd on their feet. Okay, very, very good and logical choice here in the young man of Jason Jordan. We already know the brief history between Jordan and Samoa Joe. So it makes sense that Rollins and Reigns find someone who has an equal, if not more, hatred for Samoa Joe than they do. And Jason Jordan continuing to make a name for himself here on Monday Night Raw. Helping the Shield get a huge win would definitely do wonders for this young man. And to summarize the history... Jason Jordan has with Samoa Joe. He did feud with Joe while he was the United States Champion. Jordan was also part of that triple threat match with Joe and Ziggler where Dolph ended up winning to become U.S. Champ. But Samoa Joe is a very unlikable person. Could easily make enemies just with his actions, let alone what he's able to say when he has a microphone but Samoa Joe walking with some determination awaiting his partners in former Raw Tag Team Champions Jimmy and Jay the Usos this will be a very interesting matchup and very if you ask me hard to follow what we just saw between Nia Jax and Paige that possible match of the year candidate is a very tough act to follow but we have some of the best men on the raw roster in this matchup now Samoa Joe awaits his partners and I believe I mentioned it before but if you guys not have not already be sure to drop a like on the video be sure to also comment your thoughts on SummerSlam so far down below as well as the Usos make their way down to the ring a lot of combustible elements in this matchup and another interesting fact that I keep mentioning is despite the Usos being on Samoa Joe's side in this matchup they are very close cousins to the big dog Roman Reigns so it'll be interesting to see if the Usos try to quote unquote bring Roman to their side don't know how, how well that would necessarily work but wouldn't put I wouldn't put it past Jimmy and Jay or even Samoa Joe for that matter to try and bring Roman over to the quote unquote dark side but let's get this match up underway the crowd's still buzzing and on their feet part one's main event about to start here in mere seconds. Roman Reigns and Smojo starting things off. Thank you. 
Reigns, Rollins, and Jordan pick up a big, big victory to end part one of SummerSlam. It's safe to say that parts two, three, and four have a lot to live up to. But be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll see everybody in part two of SummerSlam tomorrow.